Hi, in today's session, we're going to look at how to delete a database artifact from HDI Container Database. To show this example, I created a calculation view in my product workspace. I already deployed this to the HDI Container. Now, I would like to apply deletion on this particular object in HDI Container Database. First thing I wanted to show you that right click on this object and say delete is not going to take any effect in the database artifact. It is just going to remove this object from the project workspace and it doesn't have any effect in the database object status. I can try by going into the database explorer and run a drop statement on that particular object to delete this. I'll try with the containers technical user login and then run the drop view statement on this particular CV. I get another addition insufficient privilege error, which means I cannot drop this object uh, even with the technical user. Even I can try with the DB admin, as, which is a super user, and I would get the same error message and insufficient privilege. So how do we delete this object from the database? We got a couple of options. I'm going to show those two options in this particular session. The first option is to have auto undeploy block added to your package.json. And the second option is to include an undeployed.json file uh, which contains all your uh, objects that are to be de deleted in the in the syntax. I prefer to do the second option as it is more safe um, than the first one. First option contains uh, little risk uh, because of the auto undeploy. Sometimes you may have your files removed accidentally in your product workspace. And then you, when you do the deployment, it is going to remove all the files that are not in your project workspace uh, from the HDA container database. In, in, in other option, so we got a control on what are the objects that are to be undeployed by specifying them in the uh, undeployed.json file. So we're going to look at these two options in the system, and then we will go ahead with option two to, to, to remove this object from the database. I'm going to switch over to the Business Application Studio. And then first option is to include uh, auto on deployment. So you can go to the package.json and then add that statement right there. Um, you can copy paste from, the, from this uh, script, or you can just type in there. And that's it. Uh, you can save this one. And then when you remove this object from the uh, product workspace, automatically that particular object is going to be removed from the database. But I'm not really doing this option. Instead, I'm going to uh, do the other one. So it's going to create an undeployed.json file and then specify this particular object in that file. And then when I run the deployment, it is going to remove that file from the database and um, and leave the other ones as they are. So I'm going to include the undeployed.json file. It has to be included under the DB folder. So I'm going to say new file and give the name to this file as undeployed.json. It has to be exactly with the same name. And then syntax for this one is, um, sorry, this, um, um, and then between these two brackets, I can um, include the objects list. So for this example, I'm going to include um, the ranking.hdb calculation view, and I have to give the full navigation path for this uh, object. It's starting with source, and then uh, I will have the forward slash and and CVs, and then forward slash, and then ranking dot HDB calculation view. That's it. My object is um, listed here. Then I can save this one. And then when I, um, then I can remove this object from the product workspace, then I'm going to deploy this uh, module, DB module, into the HDI container. So I'm going to say source, deploy. Deployment started. 
and it's completed. Now let's go and check the object status in the database explorer. I'm going to go to the column views and then I don't see that column. It's been uh, removed from the database. In this way, you can add number of objects um, by giving the full path navigation here and you can remove those files from your product workspace and they're going to get removed from the database. That's all for this session. Um, thank you.